Bonsoir to Le Monde. Welcome back to Tom Play's Europe Universe Alice 4 for absolute beginners. We are back with France and getting quite close to the end of the game. <laughs> so, where are we actually? Going? So, okay, I'm gonna instantly pause. We got noble rebels in Sardinia. Okay, in theory, Sardinia should actually be able to cope with those. Whether they will or not, of course, may be a different matter. So, if we take our much depleted fleet over here, oh, it looks like they are handling them. Hopefully, so that's good. Apparently, we're actually able to embrace industrialization already, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Probably a bit early, cost us a ton of money, but we've got so much money now that it doesn't really matter. May as well just embrace it immediately. Okay, are oh, we going to need to go over there? We're not. We're fine. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. Okay, so... That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, we've eclipsed Spain. I did think we might. I'm very interested in these. They're actually quite big, you know. So, going for Holland is a developing option. However... We do also have the options of these two. We don't actually have a conquest on this one. Which isn't a problem as such, but a claim does allow you to spend less admin power. Cool. So, might be worth it. How are we doing with war exhaustion? We've got no war exhaustion. Okay, so we could go straight for that one, in theory. do with more ships. We got it, 45. So ideally we want to have 45 ships, don't we? 45 transport. So I think we do have some up top, but some anyway. We definitely need more of the heavy ships as well, but I just want to be able to move the troops around at the moment. Okay. They really do with making war on some of these people as well. Seriously wondering whether to just go ahead and do that while we're waiting for our spy networks to finish building. Just going to build one on Holland as well because they do look like a developing option. Got conquest on those. I did want to actually check. Have a look at this for a while. I wanted to check our actual mission tree. See if there are any missions we haven't done. Yeah, so I think we need to take Burgundy for this one. French East Indies. That's India. In the Orissa area, North Carnatican. Right, so we do need to do more conquests in... Oh, well this will work well for Holland. So do we already have claims? We do. Antwerpen and Brussels. So we can get a claim on... Zealand as well. But either way. Right, that's good. Let's just keep going with that. Uh, right, brilliant. Well, I don't think we need all of this, but yeah, I was just thinking we could try to... That's fine. Okay. That's an endless sea. Oh, cool. Not that we really need more sailors, but it's good that <laughs> for once we're not constantly being told we're neglecting our navy. Right, so 
we actually have no transports whatsoever. And for some reason we have a whole bunch of galleys. That is because that isn't our name. That is the old... Navy, which I think probably used to belong to Genoa. Okay, whereas this one could take 62 people, so that's fine. So that's interesting. So we might want to actually keep that as an alternative navy for various things, which is useful. So I'm sort of thinking if we take some of these troops over here and maybe just attack these guys in the hope that French, maybe not those guys actually because French Mexico might have a go at them. Maybe these guys, see if we can give them to French Louisiana so we don't need to worry too much about having claims on them. I'm not sure we could make claims. Oh, well, we should also do this. So do we have Right, they want the legitimacy restored, well so do I, but I have no easy way to do that. Increase our commercial presence, I would love to do that. But let's just build a cathedral in Savoy. Because I know we can achieve that one. Okay, so... So there's a question. Where has Savoy gone? Oh, right there. Clearly I'm going blind. Okay, so cathedral. And now I've lost it again. I think it's here. Yeah, cool. So we already had a church. Well, that's not good enough, they want a cathedral, so fair enough. Okay. Just while I'm looking at various things, how is everyone else doing? Oh, right, I see, everyone else has already embraced. Oh no, that's feudalism. Okay. So, industrialization, we are actually ahead on that one, which is good. Brilliant. Okay, all aboard. Probably check our subjects. Who needs a bit of a boost? Maynilla? Well, we only just got Maynilla. So let's do French Alaska instead. Improve relations, I may regret that when I'm unable to start a war because I don't have a diplomat. <laughs> but we'll just pull the one from Scotland, it'll be fine. Significantly damaged by the sea void. Voyage. Florida has declared war. Okay, well that's good. No issue there. Now pull our diplomat from Scotland, and we're going to do likewise. So just imperialism. We're gonna have to fight a few people, I think. them are going to give this army any problems, particularly. And then 
any land we can get them to cede will hopefully be given to French Louisiana. So we can get it to a decent size. Okay, Marie Antoinette. She could be an advisor, but she's only skill two, so let's use her ideas instead. Pretty determined to stick with plus three advisors there until the end of the game. Great. You need some kind of general. I thought that's not the one that was in America. It wasn't. Good. Okay. Let's go for these guys then. I don't really care who takes the land. In fact, in many ways, I'd rather French Louisiana took it. I mean, in theory, because we've started this war, all the other nations will join in as well. Hopefully, we can them in their fight. to do a, a fairly decent job of dealing with this quickly. Yeah, doesn't look like we're gonna, I mean really what we should have been doing, or could do be doing, is making inroads in Central America. Because we're certainly not going to um, taking over the whole place before the end. 1821 is when it ends. So there's humanist ideas. Oh brilliant. Yeah, we should definitely take these as soon as we can. This should give us a lot more peace in our country. Probably check what's going on over in India because I'm surprised I haven't heard anything yet. Unless I missed it. Okay. Well, it looks like they've been put down anyway, so let's just move back there so we're not taking any damage make them a state, core said state, that's good. Looks like Zimbabwe has left quite a bit of Brazil alive, surprisingly. So we should at least claim the three closest to us and probably take them next. He's declining, lost an advisor, we've won that siege, that's fine. Let's go and siege the main place. Street of Core, discipline plus 5%. That's definitely worth having. Okay, do we have another plus 3? We do. Missionary strength, I suppose that's kind of useful. We are doing missionaries right now. Chickasaw, is that who we're attacking? No, okay. In that case, I will accept that one. So mainly after these lands here. I wouldn't say no to others, but it's mostly these. Just want to make sure that uh, French Louisiana can stand on their own two feet and ideally get them to ten provinces so we get our last trader. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this on its own is not going to do it. Who are we up against here? Right. Oh, that's Caddo, so maybe we can take them as well. 
Okay, brilliant. What else? Okay, I've got a claim on them now. So we should move as much of our army up here as we can. Great if we could start this war while still doing the previous one. Ooh, that's not good. Not good at all. No, no, seriously. You need to stop and move like I asked you to. Mm, I see. Accidentally kicking up the land troops. It's just that they. I don't think they have any. Oh, there's one trade ship. Fair enough. Was it over Sardinians lately? So we actually won anyway. Okay. I was a bit worried there. not to pick up any trade ships if we can. So we'll probably get the diplomatic tech first, because that's the only one we don't have any ideas for. I've finished military ideas now, so maybe not. Okay. So I need to give you a leader. Doesn't matter much which one. Peasants getting uppity. Don't really want to lose legitimacy, so let's enforce it. Okay. That doesn't seem right. Why have we only got... Oh no, 45. 45 is right. It's exactly what we need, isn't it? So... Head here, let's bring these here as well. Then we can start worrying about the heavy ships. Could be a stable government, yeah, we can afford it. And our colony has finished growing. Okay. over here if we can. Hold that thought. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about peasants so much. Because it will actually overthrow the country. It might make them a little poorer. But as we don't actually have any troops nearby, at least I don't think we do. No, they're already on the way. I think we would be better off just leaving Maynila to deal with it or not. They may just have to cave to their demands. Okay. Is this a colony? No, it is. Yeah, well, you know. Okay. I'm going to 
assuming these people are allied to each other. They are not. No allies at all. No allies at all. Okay. I guess I'm not complaining. Having said that, I might declare war on them both simultaneously anyway. Just in the interests of speed. Yeah, I've just taken theirs off them. Not what we wanted. Seriously. <laughs> okay, I think they've both got a leader now. No, they do not. Really struggling to give them both leaders. Okay, same thing, let's do imperialism. Need. What do we need? Alright, oh, need to wait a month, apparently. Military access from Japan. Novel. Okay, so we should be able to leave them to it. Apparently we've just won a siege down here, so let's go for Caddo next. I can see we're not going to get to Brazil. Louisiana. You see, that's only actually one though, isn't it? Can we get Caddo to make peace, I wonder? Apparently not. That's a nuisance because it's going to really push up our war score because they've uh, unconditionally surrendered. Are we anywhere near to taking this castle? We are nowhere near to taking that castle. How about this one? No. Okay. I might just accept it then. Not to worry. Let's give them two more anyway. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're nearly to the point of giving us another trader. Separatist. Ooh, we actually do need to get back for that. <laughs> this is our Spanish army. Oh well. Not to worry. Okay, Holland. Yeah, so I was thinking. Oh, we need to be. I was thinking Zealand, wasn't I? That might be it now. Oh, there might be some more in Africa, possibly. Alright, Japanese Manchuria. Starting early in this timeline. Okay, I mean, I'm mostly concerned about attacks from the West if we end up fighting the Commonwealth. But. We will have to keep Japan in mind, I suppose. That was another place to colonise there. It's not a great place to colonise, but it is theoretically an option. Actually, we need to focus on these troops and get them back to... Spain. 
Spain as soon as possible. Well, technically get them back to France. <laughs> get them back to the area that would normally be Spain. Let's head to Valencia, actually. Now we can now make a claim on Zealand. Question is, do we want to keep building a spy network? I suppose we could make claims on some of these lands up here. Let's get to Holland. Hmm. Worth mentioning, actually, while I think about it, this uh, list of allies that can be drawn in, this one here has got a horn on it, and that means they can bring their own allies, so we can't avoid fighting the Commonwealth by attacking Nova Hollandia. It'll still likely bring the Commonwealth in. It does make me wonder, right, we don't need claims on Burgundy, do we? Oh, is the Commonwealth not the Emperor anymore? That is tempting. That's really tempting. Gonna attack Burgundy and end up fighting Holland as well. Is that our full army? I think it is. Right, let's, uh, let's just sidle over to London and pick up the British army as well while we're at it. But yeah, I think that's implying that the Palatinate is now the Emperor. Which means... Is the Commonwealth even still part of the Empire? Oh, it is. It's still a part of it. So it could in theory still join in. So possibly we ought to actually declare war while the Palatinate's not willing to defend Burgundy. So, whom do we need to go for? Holland is the obvious one. So if we can just get this. We're really struggling to keep track of who... There we go. Which generals are busy and which aren't. But yeah, it's this one that's busy. I think they should be able to take our navy on. I don't really want to move this one out of the shallower seas. Uh, I'm not sure, don't have time to check right now. So yeah, this one, because it's got a bunch of galleys, it works better in an inland sea. So I don't really want to take them out beyond the Mediterranean. There's our name, causing problems, which is good, that's what we want. We do just want to live across and we really need to give him an admiral. So, Spanish separatists inevitably, so let's go and put them down. That is fine. Seeing as the Platinum hasn't joined in, I might try and improve relations with them. We need an Emperor. So why don't you head from there. And you can start with Burgundy and then go on to Holland. So yeah, great. Um, where's the one with Burgundy? Yeah, Cleves and Memmingen. That's fine. And this is why we brought, brought Bohemia in, really. 
Okay, so yeah, of course these guys are going to join in, so hopefully our own troops will start attacking them. It's just a shame Florida was already in a war. Maybe we should give them a little boost. I don't really want them losing land. There you are, have a nice solid 1000. Guessing these guys are still holding out in their respective forts. Which is annoying. But can't be helped. these guys are doing to their peasants, but they're certainly rising up a lot. Now, can we actually defeat them in Liege? Kind of questioning that. Maybe we should try and attack them when they're on one of our castles. Speaking of, let's bring this up. We do have a better general, to be fair. So if Liege isn't on their side, then it might actually not matter. It doesn't look like it is on their side. Now oh, let's go get him. That'd be worth a try. Should cheer Liege up a bit, if nothing else. Excellent. Entirely the wrong direction. I thought it was nice to just check in how we're doing over there. Cool, definitely pirates. That's good. That's mainly what I wanted. Let's send a diplomat to Japan. Not promising we won't end up at war with them, but I've got some diplomats that I don't really need right now. Uh, is Persian an enemy of the Ottomans? They are not? Okay. Let's make nice with the Persians as well then. Brilliant. So what we don't want is Burgundy prematurely surrendering. Conditionally. Ideally. Because we definitely want to take something from Holland as well, even if it's not going to be as much as it would have been if we'd attacked them individually. I suppose I should probably have checked. Whether the Platinum would have joined in if we'd attacked Holland. And also, if it was just a Platinum, it probably wouldn't have mattered. But never mind. Can't think of everything. At least this is just like a bit of a mini war, along with the other two, which are lasting far longer than you would have thought. Okay, we've lost a general. Let's keep a conquistador just in case we need one. Okay, it's so looking good. Cleaves are still fairly happy, but uh, yeah, we can spend the money, it's fine. Den Haag, excellent, good to know. I would like to annex you completely, however, I am currently lacking in diplomats, so we're going to have to pull one back. Okay. I might... Let's see... Well, let's pull back the Platinum simply because they're closer. Can always send them back. Oh, the Ottomans want military access. Definitely not a problem. You are our best allies. 
What am I looking for? Right. Full annexation from you. Rest of the army can go over there. The navy can go over there. And then, okay, the naval battle happening, that is fine, where is Cleves? So everyone's, oh actually everyone's low now, apart from the Hollandish areas. That's fine, that's fine. It's occupied by Utrecht, I hope your guys are going to take that. So if you're not going to take it, I want to take it. be quite annoying if we can't get the land because it's occupied by a Utrecht. Ah, right, okay, let's give you a gift as well. At least when we get our diplomat back, let's give you a gift. Spare no expense, that's fine. That's annoying. one of these back and take it across as soon as we can. Now we've got a diplomat so we can give Canada a gift. So hopefully make them a little more effective. Finished. Okay. So we may as well make another colony there. to be one group anyway. Okay, that's fine. Come on little ships, you can get there. This is going to be a bit of a problem because we're going to have all three colonial armies up there and we'd more or less already brought the Siberian army up to strength. So we might want to relocate them to Africa or something. It's going to take a bit of doing, logistics wise. We'd be better off in Scarborough in terms of attack. Honestly, there aren't enough of them to even matter. Okay. So let's swing by, see how this is going. Not going as well as I would like. Still. But we're getting there. I think we are getting there. Slowly away. Reopen diplomatic channels with the Platinate, potentially. Sounds a little like 
and Burgundy is fighting back now. Does that mean that their other war has finished? It does. Excellent. Right, in that case, I want to bring this arm back down here and take some Burgundy's lands. Yeah, Bohemia is still keeping the siege going, so that's the main thing. Alright, there isn't even a castle here. Okay, well, I guess I can give chase once we've uh, taken this particular land. What do we have next to humanist ideas? Is this a good idea? Just thinking we're about to take some land, aren't we? Just a general. Okay. Not sure which one at this stage. You need to head back down to London. and fort defense. I'll go with morale. I don't have many people attacking our forts at the moment. Well, I'm at it. Let's just head down to Brazil again. Claim Swazi. Holland, but we're not actually going to be able to make any claims on them, are they? So I should probably have uh, stopped building the spy network a while back, really. Never mind. Never mind, let's start just in case building one in Great Britain and in Spain. Could always come in handy. Start improving relationships with the planet again. So these guys have finally given up. Well, almost. I'm sure, the navy can use the practice. Oh, there we go. Oh no, that's all right. That's these guys. That's fine. Honestly, it doesn't entirely matter at this stage. Hmm. And the way to head back? Okay, let's round up these Burgundy's troops. While Bohemia finishes off the siege at Cleves. And hopefully we will be roughly ready to go then. There we go. Right. People want peace. So who wants what? Memmingen. No problem with Memmingen. They can just do money. Cleves. Again, no problem with Cleves. They can just do money. Holland, on the other hand, I want a bit more from. So they can give us these, but that means they're not giving us any colonies, which is annoying. about can we get them to concede Eastern America? Then 
annoying that that's going to go to Florida rather than Canada, but nonetheless. Uh, no, no, I'm not interested in giving you territory back. Sorry. And Burgundy, I'm going to annex entirely. We'll see if we get another demand. Okay, so, Unite Home Region? Nope. Conquer Flanders? Nope. What have we done? Oh, Conquer Burgundy. Excellent. So we've now got a bunch of new claims. We've already annexed Savoy. We've already subjugated Lorraine and Genoa. Alsace, I haven't done Alsace yet, or Milan. Excellent. So, lots of places we can theoretically start attacking now. So we do actually have a bunch of claims already. Brilliant. Okay, cool. That's good. Right, so everything is actually okay. All done. Might be able to make another claim on Brazil, but other than that, and um, we've taken a chunk at least of the uh, Nova Hollandia lands. I still were we could have given them to French Canada, but you know, French Canada is quite big as well. So, not too big a deal. Maybe we can actually get specific claims on places like Vinland next time, and they can go to Canada. That's if there isn't next time, it is 1774 now. Still eyeing up this enormous area here that we haven't touched at all. Always struggle to get that. But yeah, not a big deal. Finished off Siberia as well, which is good. I'm going to need to decide what to do about moving those colonial armies. Because I think there's still some inland colonising in Africa. Potentially. Although we'd have to go through someone to get to those lands. Yeah, not bad anyway. We actually got back on track with the mission tree as well. Which I've been sadly ignoring for quite a while. <laughs> we were supposed to be following that originally. So, yeah. So we need to keep going on Holland, I guess. French claim to Naples. Good grief. Yeah, I can't see us managing that one. Still, not to worry, we'll leave that for next time. So, bit of progress anyway. Happily the um, Palatinate became a Holy Roman Emperor before we started attacking them, so even though the Commonwealth is still part of the Empire, they weren't the Emperor, which is great. A bit of a foolish move on the part of the electors, really. You'd think that they would have stuck with the Commonwealth, but they seem pretty undecided as to who should rule them. Which suits me fine. Okay, but we'll leave it there for this time. It's, um, yeah, good progress. No idea what we're going to do next time, except probably Brazil. Brazil is going to be the obvious one. It's just whether we want to try and pick off Milan or something while we're at it. Maybe do two wars at once. Seeing as Milan, I think, is still not part of the Empire. But we will deal with that next time. So thank you for watching, and I will see you then.